Hi, I'm Mrs. Gaither, and today I'm not in the WMS library. I'm actually at home because it's summertime, and summer is one of my most favorite times of the year because I have all of this uninterrupted time that I can spend reading, unless I'm doing something fun with my family. But I've been reading and reading and reading, and I've got some great books to share. One of them is called Let It Snow. And you might think it's funny that I'm sharing this book because it's actually a winter story. And it's by three different authors, John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And it's set during Christmas time. But anyway, I'll pitch it now. And then when it comes time for Christmas, you can read it. Or you can read it now, Christmas in July. The interesting thing about this book is it's written in three parts by the three different authors. And it's cleverly meshed together to create one awesome story. The very first story is called the Jubilee Express, and that's where we meet the character Jubilee. She is, she's is she been put on a train to Florida to spend the Christmas break with her grandparents. This was unexpected, it was last minute, all due to her parents being arrested and thrown in jail. But while she's on the train, she meets a boy named Jeb, she meets a whole pack of cheerleaders, and she contemplates her high school romance with her current boyfriend. Well, the train, gets stopped because of these huge snow drifts on the tracks. And after spending as much time as she can handle with the pack of cheerleaders on the train, she decides to climb off and hike to this Waffle House that she can see in the distance. And when she gets to the Waffle House, she meets a boy named Stuart. And you're gonna have to read the rest of that story to find out what happens with her. The second story in the book is called A Cheer-tastic Christmas Miracle, and this one was by John Green. It's narrated by a boy character named Tobin, and Tobin hangs out with just a pack of pals. One of them is a girl who goes by the nickname The Duke, and let me tell you, Tobin decides during this story that maybe he has more than friendly feelings for The Duke possibly romantic feelings. And this is all discovered while they are having an adventure, hiking through the snowstorm, hiking through the snowdrifts, making their way toward that same Waffle House. And then the last story is called The Patron Saint of Pigs. And this is where we meet the character Addie. Addie lives in that same town. She works at the local Starbucks. And we find out that her character is very remorseful for having broken up with her boyfriend. She's very sad about this. And then we find out his name. It's Jeb, the same boy that Jubilee met in the first story on the train. So like I said, this story is cleverly woven together to create an awesome read. I know you're going to love it. I liked it. And um, you're going to have to come into the WMS library and check it out. But don't go right now because I'm not there. I will see you guys in August. So remember, let it snow. It kind of cools things off here in the middle of the summertime because of all the snow. And come on in and see me in the library and check it out when we come back to school in the fall. Hey, everybody. Have a great summer and keep reading.